Hi, my name is Yuvelkis Montalvo. I'm the head's executive director. And today I have the honor to be with Dr. Carlos Morales. He is the president of the TCC Connect Campus, which is one of the campuses of Tarrant County College District in US. He has been a member of the HEADS Consortium for a long time, and actually he's currently our vice chair of the board of directors, and also he serves in the editorial uh, board of our HEADS Online Journal, which is our peer review journal. First of all, Dr. Carlos Morales, how are you today? Good and you, happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Claro, thank you, of course. Thank you for your time. I know you have a busy agenda and we truly appreciate that you take a time to share your experience as a member of HEADS with others. And the first questions that we have is how long does your institution has been established? Where is it located and how many students do you serve? Uh, Tarrant County College uh, was established in 1965, so over five, uh, 50 years of existence. Um, we are located in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, the college in general offer, uh, serves over 100,000 students uh, and TCC Connect Campus, which is the online campus for uh, the college, was established in 2014. Uh, to serve over 20,000 students. Wow, this is a very big number. Uh, what type of programs do you offer and in what modalities, Dr. Morales? TCC Connect Campus offers 31 academic programs uh, at the level of uh, associates and certificates in the areas of business, information technology, marketing, and we have uh, two uh, big areas. One is e-learning, where the majority of our students uh, enroll, uh, over 20,000. And the other part is a, an accelerated weekend college with uh, over 800 students every, every year. Excellent. Another question that we have is since when are you a HEADS member and what motivates your institution to join? We are members of HEADS since 2013 when I arrived uh, at Tarrant and the, the reason for that is uh, the need of support for Hispanic students and Hispanic faculty uh, in the areas of uh, technology and classroom techniques and, and student support. So those are the main reasons uh, for uh, what we joined HEADS back then. Excellent, thank you. And following this same a line of thinking, what services do you understand that your institution has made the most of it? Uh, one of them is or are the webinars that uh, the organization puts on schedule. And that is in, in two ways. One, because we have been uh, attendees to the webinars uh, in search of new strategies and seeing how other institutions are addressing uh, similar challenges uh, that we have uh, with technology in the, in the classroom. And on the other side, we have been also presenters uh, sharing some of our uh, solutions and strategies to uh, uh, similar situations other institutions uh, have. So again, the intent is to acquire new ideas as well as to share uh, potentially new ideas. We also have a uh, maximize uh, the student ambassador uh, aspect. Uh, we have a, a student that is active in the promotion and the uh, um, reaching uh, to other students to um, inform and let them know of the existence of the head uh, services here at Tarrant. That's totally true and we have been honored to train the student as part of our services so they can help others and promote the services that are totally free of charge for students. So we truly appreciate your support on this. And in other uh, matters, what strategies do you think HEADS has implemented to address the pandemic impact and how have HEADS service been useful to TCC Connect campus? I, I would also point once again to the webinars. Uh, they have been uh, very successful, again, for both uh, receiving and uh, trying to learn new strategies, uh, as well as to uh, share some of, some of those, uh, uh, especially during this time of the, of the COVID-19. 
uh, the need for faculty development, professional development, and training uh, has been uh, uh, augmented by uh, the attendance and participation to the to the webinars. I read on on the website that over 4,000 participants have uh, joined and benefited from these uh, webinars. Another um, service the, uh, provided by HEADS is the Student Placita, which is at no uh, cost, as well as the Student Leadership Showcase. That has been very, very uh, important and useful for our students, uh, once again, in these times of uh, searching for answers and, uh, again, opportunities for us to, to uh, lead. Uh, students are also uh, looking for ways where they can uh, acquire new strategies to uh, exercise uh, leadership. Finally, um, the HEADS online journal with its most recent issue of Spring 20 has been of great value. Again, seeing a, 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 the application of strategies and techniques from the practitioner standpoint. So those are some of those bene uh, services, I would say, that we have maximized by being members of HEADS. Definitely, and definitely you have been very important in this uh, to help us provide these services and you have been member of the editorial board and your support and collaboration for that is truly important to have an issue that uh, is very uh, very uh, distinguished and, and, and the articles can be uh, truly a uh, review. So thank you for your time for that. Uh, one uh, other questions that we would like to ask is what would you say to those are a uh, how do you visualize excuse me the present and future of heads as a result of the pandemic certainly the the continued uh, support of faculty uh, hispanic faculty uh, in in need of new strategies new new ways of reaching to the student and uh, uh, maybe collaborating with, with mm -hmm. other uh, colleagues in other institutions, number one. Number two, uh, the same thing uh, of support for students, uh, the, the Hispanic culture uh, in the United States and beyond. So those, those are uh, immediate, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, uh, roles that heads play in, a, a, in higher education. In terms of the future, certainly uh, uh, capitalizing on the technology part of uh, our name, uh, continuing the adoption and fostering the adoption of instructional technologies uh, in the classroom, uh, how faculty can expand their repertoire of tools and strategies as well as techniques as they continue to a, a convert courses mm -hmm. from a face-to-face -face mode to a, a remote learning and, and possibly to an online learning due to the circumstances of COVID-19. So uh, HEADS has uh, been a, a instrumental for many institutions and a, I think it, it continues to be a, such a, a great organization to a, provide that service to many. Thank you for these kind comments, uh, Dr. Morales, and definitely the board uh, and you as a vice chair of the board have been very important to make this happen. So thank you so much for your collaboration. One last question. What will you say to the organizations or institutions that are considering joining heads but haven't uh, do it, uh, uh, no, no, haven't do it yet? Well, uh, first of all, the services HEADS provide are of great value and uh, provide a good return on investment a, and a quick one as well. The portfolio of services is phenomenal for faculty as well as for, for students. And if we were going to contract these services individually, the cost for each mm -hmm. of those will be prohibitive. So uh, again, it provides good value, a quick return investment, uh, uh, students and faculty embrace these services very, very quickly. Thank you so much again for your time, your valuable uh, collaboration and your insights of your relationship and your benefits from heads to your institutions. We truly appreciate your support and we hope that we can continue this kind of interviews in the future so others know how to benefit from the heads consortium as well. Thank you so much and please stay safe and thank you again for your time. Thank you, Ivanki, for the opportunity. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you. Likewise.